Antibody drugs are in the news nowadays. In the absence of a COVID-19 vaccine, they are being touted as the next best thing. Now, we are going to tell you what these antibody drugs are and how they are different from vaccines. For starters, antibodies are created by our body's immune systems. Our scientists can harvest and then isolate them from a recovered patient's body. Israel and the Netherlands have had success in doing this. Once antibodies are isolated, their genetic formula can be studied and replicated on a mass scale. The human body creates hundreds of antibodies, each specific to different pathogens. Now, they defeat the foreign cells by latching on to their surface and disabling them. The physical shape and size of antibodies are quite crucial. If the proportions are off, the antibodies will not be effective. So how are they different from vaccines? Antibody drugs are a cure. They cannot offer immunity to a population that has not been infected. Vaccines, on the other hand, are preventative in nature. Now, antibody drugs bind themselves to infected cells upon injection, while vaccines involve infecting the population with the weak or inactivated virus samples. Now, antibody drugs stimulate the immune system to attack the infected cells. In the case of vaccines, the body creates antibodies by itself to fight the inactivated virus samples. Now, they essentially work as a dress rehearsal so that the body is ready for a full-blown infection. Now, vaccines also take a longer time to develop. By conservative estimates, it can take at least one year for a foolproof vaccine to be deployable. But antibody drugs can be developed in a matter of months, as proven by institutes in both Israel and the Netherlands. And finally, vaccines generally have universal deployability. Most people can get vaccinated uh, unless they are allergic to the formula. But antibody treatments are advised only for infected patients and high-risk population groups.